right, I'm going to be doing a collective reading. Um, I'm being directed from spirit to definitely do this. I'm using two card decks. I'm going to be using this one. <laughs> Perseverance, top deck. And choices, top deck. I will be using this as well. Um, so someone is having to fight. I'm just going to put this out there just as I'm looking at it. So someone is going to have to be pushing past their own boundaries for the collective that could get, didn't include myself and we will be forced to have to deal with some choices in our lives because well things have to change out with the old and in with the new when it comes to the energy um i will also be using my um talk that mess um cards that i created which is basically just building a tea on uh zodiac situations um, whatever it is that needs to be spoke on spirit had me do this like four days ago um, because I feel like when I do my readings or when a lot of us do our uh, collective readings sometimes information needs to be put out more in detail so that's why I created these uh, talk that mess um, deck so I'm gonna be starting off with the biggest deck that I have at the moment um, not that I'm saying this is all that I have, but these are the ones that I'm being directed to use at the moment. So I'm going to be doing so by doing it now. Thank you for all that is watching. Um, for those that haven't heard, um, about me or what is it that I do? My name is Indigo. I have a podcast I'm working on called Ask Indigo and I kind of talk about my life, the experiences that I have went through, the strange happenings and things I literally cannot make up. Um, as I find myself getting more comfortable with being live and being seen or being noticed, uh, I will start to spill more tea about what I had experienced the last 10 to 15 years. I have been hidden from the world for the last two decades. A lot has gone on in my life, but I will be talking about all those things through my podcast. I also opened up a company with my husband, OTJR Browns and Coal Herbal Remedies online. Uh, we're not just herbs, but we're a lifestyle. There's not just um, herbal uh, remedies on there. There's tons more that's going to come. Yet again, it's a work in progress. But there's also services that we also offer on the website. So definitely, please check it out. We have blogs as well where I talk extensively about things that we just need to be touching um, point on. And so collective reading today a lot has been happening in the world and in the atmosphere we are all going through some kind of shift transition growth growth spurt level up um definitely having a lot of the out with the old and the new energies while i'm doing this collective reading um i will definitely talk and touch base on whatever it is that i'm seeing uh, a lot of us in the collective are getting a heavy attacks by people who are envious or jealous of us um, or wanting to be in our positions. A lot of us in the collective are being hit with dark magic, black magic, evil hexes, um, hoodoo, voodoo, curses, evil eye. Um, that's to be expected when you're going through some kind of growth spurt, when you're a 144 team or if you're part of the collective that is going through some kind of um, uh, level up growth spurt. This is, that's to be expected. Source and Spirit is, you know, always expecting others to be attacked um, by those that don't want us to level up, change, grow, become uh, the better version of ourselves. We tend to purge and have an ego death ourselves so that we can become this new, better version of who we are. So with that being said, we're definitely being expected in the collective to, like, definitely guide ourselves, um, protect ourselves as much as we can from those that don't want... Um, the best for a great good. I mean, it's really that simple. It feels like my cards just want to vomit <laughs> today. Thank you for whoever's watching.
a lot of those in the collective are definitely um having some kind of a new mental thought we're seeing things a lot differently or things are becoming more clearer for ourselves um definitely we're getting a lot more loyalty around us that means just loyal people are being directed to you you could even be um wise of aware you're, you're definitely wise and aware that like whatever's changing in your life has to ch change because it has to um but don't be afraid of the growth or the change that's coming because you're definitely going to be um getting back up like people that are loyal and people that want to help you along your mission like you're definitely whatever this newfound approach to doing things like this so it says revolution so revolution for me is kind of like if you're in a mindset of like you know that something needs to change or you're in the process of creating a new idea a new mindset um a new way of doing things you're beginning to like finally realize that certain things in your life just weren't meant for you um you're definitely getting some kind of assistance like like your spirit team is definitely stepping in and trying to say, hey, I got your back and I'm definitely going to start working in your favor. So a lot of you at the time in the collective, you're definitely praying or asking for some form of guidance. This is like God saying right now that I got you um, and don't worry about it. Like you're because you've been so loyal, I'm going to start sending you loyal people to have your back. <laughs> Can't make it up. So before you were struggling with like, good things happening in your life you could have been having a hard time with like producing ideas um new skills creating um you could have had a mental block the De desperate possibility of you're not looking at yourself in a specific light because maybe you feel like you're not worth it or not um able to move past these boundaries that you kind of place yourself in the collective um but spirit is basically telling you like you're a rare breed so enjoy the, the joy and the light of all the good things that are about to come in your direction because like because you're aware of like whatever needs to change and you're beginning to probably even speak up more. It's producing some kind of a loyalty where it's allowing um, good things to come into your life, including like good people. And it's bringing some kind of joy. Um, it's also bringing some kind of like a light, which means just like right here when it's showing you the light behind the loyalty, like you're definitely waking up to something too where you're beginning to see like not everything is bad things can change um because god is definitely sending someone in that's rare or you could also be rare and so you're definitely receiving some form of a backup because like you're making some major change like you could even be speaking up more so if you notice like you're having throat issues um you're struggling or stagnant to speak you're stumbling over your words a lot of that time is because when you go through some kind of change others will send you evil eye or not want you to speak up so definitely catch your breath and feel comfortable with speaking more often and more honestly about what the things that you want because you're being directed to do so and you're you're a rare breed so god is sending someone in or sending a group of people in that are going to be loyal to you and do stuff that's for you that's for the confirmation that's going to um produce whatever it is that you're trying to uh, receive in your life you'll be able to receive it in in reality because of the work you're getting a team A lot of you in the collective don't even realize how rare you are. Like, you're very, like, with unicorns, this kind of tells me, like, you're definitely one of a kind. You're a rare breed. Um, you do things different. You might see things different. You could even be a lot really different from other people. Um, you could even, <laughs> like, I have crazy color in my hair. So you could even be a person that just likes to wear your hair in different kind of ways. Um, there's always something new about you. There's always a change in you. There's always, you're always trying to find new ways to level yourself up. So, stability and trust. Right. A lot of you in the collective might be worrying about your stability at the time. Don't. Just trust. Okay, so these two cards right here can't fell out back to back. So this is just telling me like your stability. Just trust that from the divine that everything's gonna come out for your better. Like everything's gonna come out the way it's supposed to for you. Because like you're aware that things need to change, and maybe you'll be speaking up more about like how you feel. But God is giving you great honor. Like you're definitely gonna be sitting on your throne. There's gonna be more uh stability 
you could be receiving more finances. You're definitely tuned in. Like your intuition is definitely telling you to like trust in yourself, trust in the things that you do, trust in divine, especially with divine timing. Things are all going to work out for your favor. You have two beams of light here that are literally telling you like things are going to work out in your favor. Autonomy. You're, you're definitely not from this planet collective. You're definitely um, probably an old soul. Could be ha uh, created during the Egyptian times. You're probably reincarnated from the Egyptian times. You're probably, you're also probably um, not even from this planet. I mean, obviously we're from this planet, but like your past spirit soul um, resonance is definitely from like a, another dimension. Or you could even think outside the box a lot. I'm hearing like you're... With these two cards, I feel like you could have definitely been like some kind of former emperor or empress or some kind of kingdom power at some point in time in a past life. There's definitely a change. There's definitely a change happening. There's a change happening. You're definitely doing something different, Collective. There's definitely, there's definitely a change. Oh. Okay, Spirit, I hear you. This autonomy card, I'm being heard. I'm, I'm hearing the words, read the card. Like, read what it actually says for autonomy. So I'm going to go and look for autonomy. Right. Yeah, it's funny how it falls right there. This beginning is the sum of the card that came before. She carries the wands of Rye. Of Rye. The veil behind the witch doctor, the snake belt from the the manifester, the jewelry chain from Cirque, and the phoenix. Union from the... Oh my god, I cannot pronounce that word. Okay, I'm just going to bypass that. It says, this is a card from the signs of cancer. Wow, it's funny because cancer was actually at the top of my other deck. It says... Um, which helps us to learn how to use the power of mind and disciplining emotions, like I've been saying. Uh, it says, when it appears, except your emotions, there is nowhere else to run to because, um, only, oh, because this card only brings success. You, you're in charge of your change, of yourself, and of your steering wheel with your chariot. So another way, right, right, like what I said. That's why God said to read the card. So I can clarify the card. So in other words, yes, like I'm saying, you are definitely an old soul. You are not from this planet, from this dimension. You are reincarnated. There's a re you come to some conclusion or some realization that you are not from this planet. You were meant to do something a lot bigger. You could have been some kind of a royalty, definitely. But you're beginning to no notice things or do things differently, which is allowing all these abundance to come in. So basically what Spirit is saying to trust your heart. Trust your intuition, trust your abilities to know that whatever it is that you're doing at this time collective is definitely working in your favor. This fell out before I read what I read. This is um, ego. So someone is definitely having some form of an ego death. They could be having it at this moment. You, you yourself can probably even be experiencing some kind of an ego death where you're beginning to realize um, that things need to change. You're definitely having like a, a, a aha moment. Where you're noticing that things that the the illusions and the lifestyle that you were once living collective you could now be realizing that a lot of this needs to change a lot of this has to um out with the old and in with the new there's abundant things coming 
but someone is going through an ego death or you could even be experiencing an ego death and that just means that the way that you used to look at life before is definitely transitioning it's altering it's moving it's, it's doing something different and that's because you're um making it change you can also be directed by divine spirit which is allowing you to go through some kind of a growth spurt mentally physically emotionally spiritually Great diviner. I'm being directed to read that one too. Alright. Great diviner came up. I kind of feel like that one is basically you just reaping your rewards, but I'm gonna go to the cards so I don't have to deal with um trying to second guess myself. Spirit is basically saying to go to the card, go to that card. embodies wisdom and understanding through all decisions right you're the one in control of your own decisions like i said spirit be telling me to do things for reasons man you're in control like collective like whatever this ego death that somebody having or you're having you're definitely in control of whatever is going on in your life because you're well aware of all the things that are happening you could be an emperor or emperor sitting on your throne you're definitely from some kind of like past life. You could be Egyptian. You could be coming from like another dimension. You could even be coming from another realm. But whatever it is, you're definitely beginning to step into your power. You're beginning to realize that you're the motherfucking boss. Like, I mean, it's really that simple. Um, and you're well aware because these are decisions. This is the decision card. So basically, whatever this tower moment, this, um, this uh, ego death that's happening, whether... You're the one in control of this, or you're the one that's forcing someone to go through a, a, a ego death. It could just mean that you're just cutting people off. You're moving different. You're doing things different. You're speaking different. You're behaving different. Like, this right here is just basically saying, like, there's stuff in your life that are shaking up and changing because they have to. Okay, collective. So, we have act, peace, and justice. So, someone is over here acting a damn fool. They're watching you in the collective. They're watching you. They're stalking you. They're... They... Okay, so I'm going to explain this, this card real quick. See this woman looking in the mirror, but on her desk is computer... And she's looking at the mirror. And then there's a cat on the side being nosy watching what she's doing. Right. And you notice how it's in a bathroom. Right. Because that's the bathroom. This is the shower. And that's the cat in the shower. And then this chair, this chair is a shell on the chair. So somebody could be doing water magic, marina magic on you. Big possibility in the collective. Whoever this person is, they stare in the mirror and they they um do they talk spells or mantras. They could even be stalking your social media sites, um your social media pages. They could be flagging you. They could be reporting you. They could be um impersonating someone else just to stalk and watch you. These people, whatever is done in the dark, is gonna start to come into the light because they want to do some kind of like energy swap, ma uh, mirror magic, destiny swap um freaky friday type energy with you so collective just know that to watch to watch out but i feel like whoever these people are like the spirit is saying that that whoever's acting out on whatever this situation is is saying that to, you know to keep your eyes open because and but yeah, at the same time don't worry about it because there's about to be justice like whoever this person is that's gonna have an ego death that's why because you're in control of whatever's happening in your life so you're in control of whatever's happening to your life. So somebody's going to go through ego death because whoever this person is that's acting up and doing the most, um, they're, you're going to receive some kind of a justice because they're trying to do something that's ungodly. They could even be doing spell magic. 
mirror magic, water magic, black magic, voodoo, hoodoo, hexes. I mean, people do stupid shit for a lot of reasons. That's the envy. That's the spite. That's the ego driven. You want to do something like that to someone else because you feel some type of way about them. I just personally feel like if somebody's spending all day to be all up in your business, scrolling social media, stalking your page, reporting your page, calling your page out, um, giving you problems on your where you do your whatever it is on your platform, um, for the amount of work and effort they do to try to sabotage you, I feel like this person ain't got nothing going on for themselves. And so they should really invest this time into getting their shit together instead of stalking. I mean, for the amount of effort and time that you take to watch somebody else do whatever it is that they're doing, I, I would assume that these same people would have that same amount of enthusiasm and effort to want to get their life together. So you got some collective, you got some weirdo that want to swap destinies with you. They're jealous, they're envious, they want to be you, but they're also like doing things to sabotage you. So if you got some kind of like social media site, they're definitely, and and if you've been noticing like your page being flagged or, or having some kind of issues or you're not being noticed or you're getting like your your numbers are up and down, that's because whoever this is that's stalking and watching, they're the ones doing it, they're, but they're about to have an ego death if they haven't already um, started feeling it because the way that they're acting is ungodly and, and, and they're about to, you're about to receive this justice for, uh, for this Freaky Friday bullshit that they're doing. It's weird. I mean, it's, it's weird. It's crazy on how people want to basically tell spirit that you don't, you're not allowed to be you, right? There's a community of people that are going to come in and help you. They could even be helping you figure out how, how to make um, the next sudden moves. So a lot of you could be having physical visions. A lot of you could be having um, spirit dreams. A lot of you could be just um, having downloads of information you could also just be in a mindset of um of creation so if you're definitely in a mindset of building creating growing um whatever it is that you're producing or trying to produce you're going to have a community of people that are come up, uh, behind you and help you out fulfill whatever it is that you're trying to create Yet again, I keep feeling like whatever's done in the dark is going to come to the light. So, like, whatever this craziness of them, of whoever this person or people are that are trying to block your forward movement, it's not going to work because, like, you're already aware of what this um, situation is. But that's not stopping your growth. Like, you're definitely growing or, or producing or building something in the background that they can't see. And it's probably why they're angry. Um, but, and you have a whole community behind you. Like you may not have had it before, but you definitely got a community behind you. That's about to help you get to wherever it is that you're trying to get to or, or uh, achieve. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, man, your freedom. So right here, like whoever these people are that don't want you to uh, succeed or, or don't want you to like, you know, build and grow or, you know, don't, they don't, they don't want to watch you, um, get these next level up they don't want to see you succeed and they're over here trying to destiny swap with you because they want they want all of this for themselves but they don't even realize that they're setting themselves up for failure by trying to do something that's ungodly to i guess being the star and the stars um light <laughs> they're trying to basically there's a cow in the background so for that for me it makes me feel like they're trying to milk something um, but they're not going to receive no justice because you're free. This came up upside down. You're free. You're free, man. Whatever they tried is not working. Whatever hoodoo, voodoo, black magic, death magic, spell magic, like whatever it is that they're trying to do, it's not working. If anything is backfiring, they're about to get hit with it if they're not already feeling it. You're being like divinely protected, which is so crazy. Right. Let go. Right, you're being inspected right now at this time to kind of just be free, adventurous, aspiring, 
a lot of you could even be like getting into like music if you're if you're writing music or singing or something like that um this is definitely your sign that's saying like get comfortable um release what's holding you back all this negative energy like let it go let it go because like when you let this negative energy go you're gonna start to walk into your power universal oneness transcendent right there's somebody over here in the background that they could have been trying to juggle a situation with you, but you're you're coming out on top. You're de you're growing. There's something growing within you, collective, that's making whatever you're you're dreaming of, trying to produce or do, like it's coming it's coming towards you. You're free to do whatever it is that you want to do. You'll be able to have, there's going to be a lot of choices that you're going to have to make because Divine Spirit is definitely connecting you to your soul team, to your community. You're definitely being connected to your, your uh, spirit team. At this time, Spirit is also asking you to connect to the choices that are within yourself as well. Like if you have a lot of things that you want to try to get into or start doing or maybe learning Right now, this is like confirmation saying, like, take that time to get to know yourself, the things that you want, the things that you're trying to produce in your life. Definitely um, go for whatever it is that this is um, producing within yourself. You can you can do whatever you want to do. Spirit is basically giving you a roadmap, a blueprint, and a, a uh, stepping stone to produce or create whatever it is abundance that you're trying to produce. Like I said before, you're definitely some kind of star, um, star seed. You're not from this planet. You're in, you de definitely intuitive. You're used to things being a specific way, but that's all going to change. Things are definitely, things are definitely changed. It def definitely changing. A lot of you could be uh, overworking yourselves at the moment. You're being expected to kind of take time to um, rest, relax, and, and chill. Um, because what, what divine spirit is doing for you in the collective, divine making a lot of things happen for you, like making a lot of moves happen for you, um, which is going to produce the ability for you to be able to have an overload of, of work. That just means that you might be traveling more. You might be having newfound ideas. You're wanting to become more creative. You want to create more. You have a lot of uh, push and drive to do so many different things. And you're very intuitive. So, like, at the same time, like, whatever these new drives that's forcing the collective to, like, do these new adventurous things, like, you're definitely getting out of your comfort zone and out of your boxes. And you guys are, are given a lot of wisdom. So, you can even be um, a star seed. Like I said before, you could definitely be some form of a star seed with some kind of an intuitive uh, abilities. Yet again, that's why wisdom is popping up. Like, um, divine source is definitely making moves in the collective, allowing you guys to produce whatever um, dreams you want to come to reality. Like, she's pregnant right here with the world. And there's the dove in the, in, in the, uh, in the, in the mist. So normally when I see doves, doves usually for me, especially when I get them in my visions, is like transformation, growth, healing, renewal, abundance. Um, you're definitely going to have some kind of abundance. That's why a workaholic came up also because you're pro whatever it is that you're creating or producing is going to be something that's going to be fruitful for your future. Expect to be very, very busy. That's why you're being um, asked to get rest at this time. Like I said, you're getting the key, like, like source and spirit is definitely giving you the key to unlock doors and things that you didn't think you were going to be able to get into. And, um, it, the card just means recovery on the bottom. So like what I'm saying before, like whatever this workaholic situation is going to be, you're going to need to definitely, um, get some rest or you're going to be expected to do a lot of resting because you're going to be expected to do a lot of traveling, um, moving around, um, opening up new businesses you might be around more people teaching them how to do um more business things like the it's crazy collective because like you have so much spirit energy backing you up you can pretty much 
do anything at this point and you're you're gonna reap those rewards i swear, <laughs> i swear to you You could also be expected to stage your house at this moment from all this uh, Freaky Friday type of energy. I've been reading this uh, Freaky Friday energy for the last few months now. I haven't done my cards in a really long time. Right, because this, this Freaky Friday energy, like, man, I've been, I, I know it. So whatever this Freaky Friday energy is, they're trying to get you to isolate. They don't want you to be seen from the world like i said before like you see how this computer is on the bottom right here but they're staring at the mirror in the bathroom right whoever this person is they want you to be isolated you could have a platform like i said you could have a platform or there's something that you're doing on on social media and these people whoever this this, this person is or these group of people are that's having an ego death they they don't want you to be seen they don't want you talking they don't want you out in the world they don't want nobody to see you they want you out in isolation like they want you to be quiet. They don't want you to realize your self-worth. They want to be sitting on this throne instead of you. Like I said, this creepy person, this Freaky Friday person that's over here stalking, watching you, reporting your social media sites, probably fake page. They're probably on fake pages watching you and trying to mimic you or be you or get money off of you um, through social media sites. Like you don't even, they don't even understand that you realize and you know what your self-worth is. Right. And then there's so much passion driven with inside of you. It's ridiculous. Like they, whoever these people are, the person is, they need to go sit down somewhere. For the amount of effort they, they spend on wanting to sabotage somebody else, they need to sabotage a job. Or even maneuver themselves to get a life. Right, like I said, whoever these whoever this Freaky Friday person is over here that wants to be you and posi swap positions with you, and that you know they don't want you to understand your self-worth, but you know what your self-worth is, and they hate that about you. So they're going to go over here, defamation of character. I'm going to be talking about that today on, on a podcast that I'm going to do in a little while. But um, they over here gossiping. They're gossiping. They're over here telling people all kinds of wrong things about you, defamation of character. They're probably over here sitting all up in your house that they got off of you from, from this black magic they're trying to do. And then at the same time, they look at you and they talk to you in your face and try to be cool with you and nice to you like they're, they're your people. But then they'll go talk shit behind your back to other people because that's what they do best. And now they look stupid because whatever you do collective that's in the, in, the, in the light, like if you guys are definitely on a platform, they're feeling stupid because the gossip and the crap that they were talking about you because they didn't realize that you understand your self-worth. And they don't understand, they don't even know that they have worth because they're viewing themselves as worthless because they're too busy worrying about what you got going on. They, they're sabotaging themselves and, and they're looking stupid. And you over here, like, the, look, look, this car was on the top of the deck when I, when I was doing the other deck. And it came back around again, right? Because you over here persevering. Like, all this gossip that they're spreading, all this gossip that they're spreading in the background, it's not touching you because you over here still making moves moving forward. They hate it. They hate it. They hate it collecting. You over here, uh, 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 starseed with intuition, intuition, minding your business, and then you have these fools in the background over here trying to sabotage your life because they want to be in your position. Maybe if they go get a job that has a position, they might be able to be in your position. I mean, it's really that simple. impartially <laughs> so this card says impartially and it's crazy because this one can on this side says isn't paint and then the other one says paint so like whoever Man, I'm telling you, I cannot make it up if I wanted to. Whoever this creepy, freaky Friday person is that keeps trying to stalk your social media sites, because I know you see this mirror. 
and this is a whole computer keyboard right here and they're standing in a bathroom so they they creepily over here stalk and watch your social media site they probably do it in the bathroom um and they over here they go and gossip to other people about you defamation of character because they don't understand your self-worth they want you to just stay isolated so nobody see you so they can keep talking that crap. But they don't realize that you're over here persevering and they're having a heavy ego death, which is so wild. Because for the amount of effort that they do for to stalk you, they should do that to go get a life. Um, and, and partially, right. They, they, they don't take responsibility. Whoever these people are, like they do not take responsibility for their actions at all. But you over here minding your business. You over here, your energy is so protected, it's ridiculous. You over here minding your business as a workaholic. You definitely going through some recovery because you got the key to open up whatever it is that you decide to do because you got all this wisdom and insight. Like you know what you're doing, you know what you're doing, you know what you're doing. Because you're a star seed over here minding your business because you have all this intuition. Like whoever these people are, I need to go sit down. They need to go sit down. They probably don't even know how to wipe their eyes. Somebody wants you to be complacent. Like whoever these people are, I'm telling you, they want you to like not be in your position so that they could be in your position. I'm, it's, it's the weirdest like the vision the things i'm seeing in my head are ridiculous it's like if they could take your skin off and walk inside of it and pretend to be you they would do that it's weird it's weird i mean it's, it's weird <laughs> i can't make it up if i want to mysticism if this person or people could take your skin off and get inside of it and wear it, they would. But that door ain't open for them. And they are over here trying to cloak their energy, pretending that they're you. Or they're trying to cloak themselves so that others don't realize the things that they're doing, which are really, really fraudulent. There's defamation of character. There's um, trying to do curses and hexes. They could even be doing so much as like looking into your personal history, your Akashic records, even your actual records and trying to um, switch information around to do something in particular. I don't know what it is that they're trying to do, but it's not working. They're actually being investigated. I'm hearing, I heard investigation. Whoever these people are though, that are trying to do this Freaky Friday stuff with you collective, that are trying to like be in your energy, there is because it's not working i my my throat just messed up messed with me as i said it because it's not working and you're going to receive some kind of a freedom from the situation because there's going just trust and believe that things are about to go in your favor because you're going to receive some kind of a just um justice justice um i don't know why judgment wanted to come out of my my mouth so i guess somebody's going to be receiving some form of a judgment that just means like and I don't want to say this because I don't ever wish this upon anybody because I'm not that type of person, even though others would wish me harm. Um, but collective, whatever the situation is, might actually lead to some kind of a death. Um, somebody might be probably become unalive. Um, there's going to be some kind of a crossroad situation happening. Because they're over here cloaking their energy, trying to do some kind of a destiny swap with you guys and the energy of the collective, it's going to backfire and it's going to cause a death, sabotage, or a loss in their family. Like everything that they're doing is backfiring and coming back to them. There's this cool thing, it's called a spiritual law, and there's a lot of things that you can and cannot do. Causing death through black magic or evil eye, that's a no-no in the spirit realm. And you will reap that karma. You will reap that karma because you that you can't do that. You can't do that. You cannot destiny swap with somebody expecting to be a uh, cloak. Like no, you're not going to be seen because God seed everything. And when you mess with somebody who's divinely protected, especially in the collective, you reap that karma by a 
you know, you know, I know you see what this is. You know, you know what's going to happen. You know why? Because Spirit said that something's balancing out. It could be three people. It could be more people. But whatever this cloaking magic was that they were over here trying to do to hide, hide the, their hand from throwing that rock. From trying to do this mirror, mirror magic, uh, black magic, hoodoo, voodoo, um, evil eye. Because they want you to sit, they want to be in your position. They want you to sit back and just let them destroy your lives. It's not going to work because God said it's not going to work. Somebody's about to hit that eagle death. Some, there's about to be a loss. That, that, that dark energy, magic, whatever they're trying to send to the collective, it backfired. It's backfiring heavy. If you're not, if they're all, if they're not already receiving some kind of like hit back, they're about to be receiving some kind of hit back because of the tactics, the things they keep doing, like spirit keeps telling them to stop and they just keep doing it. They just keep doing it and doing, oh, well, since I ain't got nothing, I, I don't want them to have anything. I'm telling you, can't make it up, man. <laughs> Impasse. Somebody going to come over here and try to uh, collect this. Somebody's going to come over here and try to be like, I love you. They're going to try to love bomb you. They're going to be like, I love you. And I promise you I'll never do it again. And I'm going to do right by you. And I'm not going to behave that way. Whatever's done in the dark will come to the light. I'm telling you, like, don't trust these people. Whoever this person is is having some form of an ego death. They're going to come in trying to talk about, I need your help. Uh, I need your assistance. But you didn't need my assistance when you were doing all that black magic. Go sit down somewhere. You just don't like hit back from karma. You don't like that. <laughs> Oh, spirit, stop it. <laughs> spirit said, you don't like that. You don't like that slap back. You should have sat down and mind your business. Stop trying. To, yeah, y'all. now y'all over here confused, talking about, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what happened. I don't know why why I'm getting all this bad luck. You, mommy, you know why you're getting bad luck, because you did it to your damn self. Trying to be all over here and collect this business, sabotaging, sending black magic, voodoo, voodoo reverse spells like those are you are you for real you getting all this bad luck because you did it to yourself maybe you just need to accept that you did it to yourself the and then you're over here crying because you want some forgiveness if you don't go sit down somewhere because your ass is being rejected maybe you need to go and grow somewhere because you are not a victim over here trying to have grief ain't nobody feel sorry for you you did this to yourself whoever you are in the collective that keep doing all of this you did it to yourself so don't try to be over here uh, playing victim because you did all of this to your damn self now i'm gonna go over here with my um speak on it jack like don't come crying now because you wanted to do all this destiny swap <laughs> yeah yeah 201 cool i will do it afterwards you know you have this person i swear i can't make it up if i want to spirit be working for me whoever tried to do this hoodoo voodoo hex i know y'all see this voodoo hex death magic food magic sex magic whoever was trying to send this black magic to the collective this mirror magic to the collect i swear i can't make it up if i wanted to don't say that spirit don't work in me Spirit working me. Whoever was trying to do this mirror magic, it backfired. You a fool. Don't try to play victim now. Right. This one fell right under it. Destiny swap. Because somebody over here trying to do destiny swap with the collective. And you just got that mental magic smacked right back on your ass. I'm telling you. I always speak the truth. Spirits, they walk and talking inside of me. Whoever they are is a Scorpio. Heavy on the Scorpio. Scorpio came back again. I'm telling you, I can't make it up. Oop. Whoever this is in the collective, I can't make it up. Thank you, collective, because you don't never lie to me, spirit. Whoever this is in the collective that keeps trying to do this, this, this destiny swap, this mirror magic, whatever this is to you in the collective, they got some kind of sexually transmitted disease or sexually transmitted demon. Sorry, I'm going to say what it is. And whatever, because you're doing all this dark magic on the collective, you're reaping death. Sorry, because you're trying to stop a twin flame union and it's not going to happen. <laughs> I can't make it up. Spirit know how to speak. Keep speaking to me, spirit. Keep speaking. Keep spilling that tea, spirit. Collective, we protect it. 
whoever these are in the background need to go sit down somewhere. All the enthusiasm they take to go sabotage somebody's life, they need to go sabotage and get a job. Sabotage and go get a life. Sabotage and go worry about your damn self and trying to instead of trying to freaky Friday with somebody else and they get hit back with that with that destiny swap uh karma. Spirit be talking, boy. Spirit be talking. Anything else, spirit, before I close this out? For the collective spirit, anything else? Anything come back? Anything else you want to speak on, spirit? It's crazy, collectives. We've been doing good, but everything, everything is coming out. Anything else, collective? Scorpio keep popping out on my deck. <laughs> Black magic popped out again. I can't make it up. Scorpio keeps showing up. So whoever it is, whoever you are in the collective, a Scorpio could be trying to um, destiny swap with you. They could be hating on you right now. Whoever they are, this cards came out. It said get a life. So whoever this person is that's trying to do a destiny swap, they need to get a life. I didn't say it, the cards did. Anything else, Spirit? Ooh. Person who's also doing this can also be a Capricorn. An Aquarius can also be involved. A Leo can also be involved. And a Taurus can also be involved. Doesn't necessarily mean you. It could be someone that has that placement. Or it could be you that has any of these placements in your in your um in your chart. But these are the names that's coming out. Scorpio is yet again back at the top of the deck. I can't make that up. I guess that's meant for me to take it out because it they could even be attacking your dream. This is crazy, man. Like I, I can't make it up if I want to. Spirit keeps speaking, spilling this truth. You don't like it? I don't know who. I don't know what to tell y'all. Get mad, get angry at spirit. Anything else, spirit? Before I let it go. If you guys have definitely missed, I would definitely tell you to go watch back from the beginning. It was definitely a crazy reading. <laughs> Like I've been said, somebody is watching you. It says, I'm watching you. Somebody is definitely watching your feeds. They could definitely be reporting you, to, um, trying to swap be you. They could be making fake pages, pretending to be you. Whoever this person is, they watching. Spirit spilling the tea, I'm telling you. Spirit don't never lie. I just saw a copycat. It came back again. I can't make it up. There's definitely somebody that's trying to be a copycat. Because they're trying to stop a twin flame mission. Can't make it up. Anything else, Source and Spirit? Anything else? Nothing? You gonna leave it here? Until later? The Black Magic came, came back, but they're receiving their karma. is backfired. I'm going to leave it here, y'all. Definitely go look back at the beginning of this video. I was spitting a lot of tea, spreading a lot of information. A lot of you definitely could relate in the collective. Um, like, follow, share. Definitely tell someone you know if they can definitely relate with a lot of this information. And um, look for me later. I will definitely be doing a podcast later where I'm talking about uh, some things I've experienced the last couple of years. It's been really a crazy ride. And um, I'm pretty much going to leave it there. So it's Ask Indigo. You can also find me on my um, business website on OTJR Browns and Co. Herbal Remedies. Online. It's not just herbs, but it's a lifestyle. So I will see you guys until later. Bye.